What's up, guys? Uh, it's Cody here from Nonstop Editing. Uh, I'm bringing you another tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 10. Sorry if I sound a bit weird. I'm really tired right now. It's only 10:41, but just had school day. But anyways, so this will be my last tutorial, hopefully, on this computer. I will be getting a new one soon with a quad-core processor. It's a this piece of crap. So, I'll be give, be able to give you nice previews in the preview window and all that. But anyway, since I didn't really want to do anything involving video, this is more of an audio effect. Now, you may have seen videos where, uh, for example, someone is doing whatever their clip is, like they get a kill feed, they get like four, four or five kills, and everything sounds normal until the last kill where they super slow-mo it and then they um, like muffle the sound so that's what I'm gonna show you guys how to do today is how to muffle muffle you can muffle either the gunshot or the music doesn't really matter I prefer to muffle the music because it I don't know draws more attention to the gameplay I guess but yep sorry for this horrid quality you're not gonna be watching that just listen If you if you could tell from here, so like about seven seconds I'd say to about three seconds, this the music was very muffled, and again that is to draw attention to the clip. And sorry, this clip is I you would usually use Twixter, um, and yes you can get that or you can get Twixter in Sony Vegas. I will link you to a video and in the annotations or description so keep an eye out for that but anyways so what you're gonna need for this tutorial is obviously here I'm just gonna start with everything new I'm just gonna delete all this crap oh crap mm. okay so you got your clip or whatever it is let me quick crop this I'm guessing it's about right there. Ah, okay. And then I'll crop it to there. So, yeah, that's what I want. Oh my god, I'm so happy this computer is going to be gone. And I'm pretty sure it just froze on me. Nope, okay. Hopefully, I'll be able to finish this without my computer being gay to me. So, get have my clip. Oh my god. Okay. I apologize for this. This does not normally happen. But anyway, so, then you drag your song in. I don't know, find a part of the song you like. Uh, I, I, I'll delete all this stuff out. I'm not going to focus on syncing it. You guys hopefully you know how to sync it's not difficult anyway so I've got my video clip I've got my music now I'm gonna wanna go right to the part I usually go where the numbers come up cause that's when you hear the sound or that's when you like the most emphasis I guess is on okay so that frame so when I get there, I'm going to go down to my music. Gonna split right at the beginning of that. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna press U on the keyboard and click the audio. And what that does is it separates it from the video. So, like I said, you'd usually use Twixer for this, but just stretch I'll just stretch it out to equal with this. So stretch that out, make it Super slow mo Twixer, it looks really nice. Leave this like that, and then at the end of the gunshot noise, you're gonna split it again. So then you should have part of your song split, so there will be three parts. On the middle part, you're gonna go into here, you can click on all, 
or Sony just to narrow it down, you're going to click track equalizer or EQ. You're going to hit add, okay. You're going to come up with these 1, 2, 3, 4, all this crap. Uh, I'm going to quick go to my preset for muffled. Uh, I'll zoom in on this for you. Just copy all these settings down. And yeah, that's it. So, yeah, so that is how you do the muffled sound effect. I'll just play it through for you guys. Oh crap, I don't know what I just pressed. I am not really an audio edit, very good at audio editing at all. Um, it, the next thing I'm going to do isn't really getting to be a montage tutorial, but it's going to be a Sony Vegas tutorial, another audio thing, and it's going to be a plug-in which allows you to auto-tune your voice, which is going to be kind of cool, and another upcoming tutorial idea I have is um, adding 3D text into a picture for a montage. For example, you take a still frame and then you can add 3D moving text, because I, I to be honest, I do not know how to use Baoju or any 3D tracking stuff and to me it's just a waste of time so I'm going to show you a cool alternative to that so keep your eyes on that and I won't be making any more tutorials till I get my new computer just because this computer makes me so angry but anyway here I'll quick show you the final product yeah not as good as the first time but very cool effect, very, I don't know, adds more flair, more style to your editing. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let us know what you thought of our new intro. I'm, I'm modifying it a little bit, but I'm waiting to render it because it took so long. But anyways, thank you guys. Hope you enjoy our tutorials and everything, and I'll see you soon.